Welkom terug bij Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, de laatste keer hebben we alles geprepaard om uh, de calling card te verzenden. En dat wat we vandaag gaan doen. We gaan vandaag de calling card sturen om dan het paleis van Marie-san te invaden. Ze doen nog even de persona's. Hallo, Trickster. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. Ik denk dat ik goed ben zo. May luck be on your side. Dank je. Nog even een goed team uh, even opzetten. Ik blijf in het team wat ik uh, in gedachten had dus. Dat houdt in. On Haru en Sofia. Perfect. Ik had geen request meer, toch? Nee, ik had nog request. Nee, dat kan ik later doen. Want wij gaan nu de Golden Card versturen en dan gaan wij. Dan gaan wij. Ze wil ons iets vragen. Vertellen. I'm sorry to call you out so late. Oh, je weet wanneer ze in deze muziek speelt. Ja? I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind, and my memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together. Hoe is dat echt, uh, laptop? Ik heb die memories diep in mijn hart. Op een punt ik het gewend om dingen te houden. En ik heb zelfs een goede vriend van like Mari-san. Bedankt voor het begrijpen. Om te zijn eerlijk, ik voel dat ik weer van het verleden was. Een lange tijd geleden ik me ik samen met Mari-san en mijn vader tijdens een golfingtrip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. And of course I started crying. Duh. And all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari's son hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. I have you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now... Hey. Ja, 
breakfast. Why is Haru so upset over Mariko Hyodo? I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. Okay, I'll believe you. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> but I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. Wat ze toch met katten en deuren open doen? Hoe dan ook, daar is life will change hier. Dus we moeten even snel doorgaan. We need to change doet hij weer de deur open, hè? Hier die tand. Kom op, sneller. Nee. Doe het niet. Snel. Nee, niet weer kan zien. Snel. Ren, ren. Uh, koek het uit. Uh. Ren sneller. Zo, kom op. Kom op. Oeh. Sorry about the wait. We're here to kick ass and... Silence all charlatans who betray me! 
Gigantische Kirby. Oh, no, no. Hoe waren het nog maar even, Sophie? Nee, nee, oh, dat was heel damage. Waarom kon ik niet gewoon Oh, 
Stop! Share modus. Is wel heel ver weg. Oh, dat was een misklik. Uh, ik moet iets doen. Ik je SP geven aan Sophia, zo van hoe ze moeten zijn. Oh, die was weer eten. Dat is echt pure onzin. Die aanval is zo irritant. Nee, 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 Kunnen we kunnen denk ik. En dat is moet hem zijn. Oh. Wat is dit dan? Het was pijnlijker dan ik hoopte dat het zou gaan. Oké. Mopsio. Dat is mij noemde een ice What? 
You're a kind person, Mari-san. And I know you've tried to shoulder all of this alone. The staff member who took bribes. The councilman who tried to set you up. Even the girl who died in the accident. <sighs> Each of these things grieved you. And in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur, you took action as you saw fit. Am I right? As the mayor, I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eat. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? Innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start, but this time on your own strength. That would be... impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. <sighs> Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! <gasps> are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high. Because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink, and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start! Haru-chan, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy. Oh, but I do not need. Oh. Mari-san. Happy? That took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. We're going to go home, right? Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? Yeah, Hungry that's like my best day. <laughs> it has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? 
That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. True! Huh. I figured as much. Then to lobster hot pot we go. <laughs> Why? What, what are you doing in this conversation? <laughs> Look, <laughs> Kamajoska. Yeah, smile just now. Yeah, straight from Sapporo. It's Beauty Thief's award winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed. She was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? Oops. Let's go to new. Yes, these are we can have extra ammo. <laughs> All right, Sophia, find us the best Genghis Khan in Sephora. Hmm. Sophie? Sophia? Uh, sorry. Okay, I've got it. Plus nine. seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. Yeah. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Hyodo-san's holding a press conference right now. Not a more of a guy, eh? More of a kicker. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> as such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as mayor. Seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Yoda was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Zenkichi is on the line. Okay. Hey, Zenkichi. Hey, you guys see Yoda's press conference? Yep. You all did a bang up job. Really, can't thank you enough. We plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her. 
personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. <sighs> I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Haru-chan. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after uh -huh. what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside when I became maid. I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself. And I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kaho-chan would want. So let me say... Thank you, Haruki. Thank you for saving this city. For saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family too. Aww, Thank wholesome. you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan. I'm happy for you, Haru. Toch nog een goed einde hier. Hmm. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in, I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. You're... I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. To start over and become our mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, you stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Yes. Hmm. I don't get it. You still need to stop us here. This is a sad moment. Everyone is crying, but it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo to transform sadness into happiness, recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That's fine. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You know, it seems like she really understood Yodo's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisan. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Marco Yodo! Hey, that was a tender moment. 
There's no need to reenact it. Ja, das ist das Dokschick. Ja, but you played it so cool back there. It really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? Ah. Truly moved. You did get it. That's it. Really was touching. And news at night. Nice. So now we're going to... I don't know who to choose. For the, the Ferris wheel. We don't have any worries. Ah. Ik ga ervoor zorgen dat hierna gelijk nog een video geüpload wordt, waarmee ik alle andere opties ook ga doen. Hm. Dus uh, eerst even zeven. Ik just add this. Uh, maar dit. En wij gaan natuurlijk hangen met de boys. Hey, I could use your assistance. What are you gonna do? For real? For real, let's go! Yes. Ferris wheel time with the boys. <laughs> Dude. Now uh... it's time with the boys. Sophia. Mm -hmm. yep. Not quite. Wow, Morgana! Uh, I don't need to click it, yeah. You gotta be shitting me! Ja, als je Persona 5 gaat speelt, dan uh, heb je vaak de kans dat je iemand romans van je party zelf. Dus in dat geval. Ja, yeah, sorry, de Yuji. Dus ik ga alleen niet vertellen wie. So I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. Not to worry. I have it with me. Here. Now Thank that's you. what I want to see. Show the new iPhone. After reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents, I think they all stemmed from a oh mess. God. No shit, Morgana. I'm curious as to why you think so. Yodo, Natsume, Alice. All three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality True. for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Madaram. Criminal scum. They acted only for their own benefit. Okay, 
But how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Yep. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the monarch, we've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, why would traumatic memories the monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means monarchs think their trauma will protect them. Hey, I find neat. that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. And they're not. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? To keep the monarch confined. Right, I think so too. What if that door isn't to keep intruders out? But to trap monarchs in. You mean they're trapped? I thought the monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a monarch tried leaving their cage? They'd touch the door and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. They'll remember what made them so warped in the first place and stick to their guns as a monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. Monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't Zaker. there to prevent the monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these monarchs are being manipulated. And by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. Yeah. How's Hiyoto-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed, but I did find traces of surveillance. Huh. I'll bet it's the same snooper we keep running into, though I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? Tony Stark. The first suspect is Medis, the company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medis, huh? Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. Yeah. You mean the cops can't actually do that? They do of course needs. not. How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a call from Ichinose. Uh, Hi there! No. Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So, I've been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech, not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Hmm. Why was the first thing that popped into my head? So I dug around some more, and I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab. Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public. And when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. Basically, they're running a secret research lab. Hmm, why a secret research lab? If has been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys. Wasn't I a super stellar source of information? Oh, is that praise I hear? You mean I did a good job? Woohoo! Go me! Well, guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. Contrôles. So what did Ichinose san say? That's what's on hype. Pogus in the chat style, weet je wel? Okinawa? Yeah, ook dat. Crystal clear waters? Yep. Shisa statues? Prachtig zand. Juicy pineapples? Shinsuko cookies? De mooie water. Beach episode.
alles in één. En uh, Okinawa is zover natuurlijk, uiteraard. Oh, dat too. It's that ramen-like thing, yeah. Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. Het zal ook maar legaal gevonden worden, hè? Fukushima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about our precious Feathermobile? We've taken it all this way. Feathermobile? That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, you said it'd be dangerous using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Dat is heel lang, denk ik. Moet je met Freddy gaan, waarschijnlijk. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Shh. Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear. <laughs> of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Uh, well... Oh. Uh. You got hung up on. Oké okay, guys, planes are no go. We're driving. Huh? You mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? <laughs> the thing is, I need to make a stop along the way. So we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Oh nee. Oh, waarom? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know, cop stuff. After that, we head to Kobe. We can Kobe. take a drive from there. That ought to cut down on time. But that's still quite a distance, even to Kyoto. It blows it against the I'll do the driving. Oh, you're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I do have it. It's just I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, Haru's driving is not exactly. Yeah, uh, laten we haar niet op de wheel zetten. Well, in any case, we're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, you'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be about 21 hours. Oh! Rams is correct. 21 hours? Yeah, yeah. You forget I'm an officer of the law. We're badass at driving. With him all of a sudden. It's like a little fire under his ass. Fine by me. So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari. 21 uur in de auto. Battle to the battle. All right then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Oh. Mm hmm. Ik ga side quest doen. Komt goed. Ik zal alles regelen. De video van de verder zoek komt hierna. De volgende keer gaan we 21 uur in de auto zitten. Ik haat het al als ik 2 uur in de auto moet zitten. Dat vind ik al vreselijk genoeg. Kun je je voorstellen? 21 uur. Zoveel batterij heeft de Switch niet eens. Ah, ik zie jullie wel de volgende keer. Bye bye.